As you're all aware, my office spoke with the members of the Estes family leading up to today's disposition. Their range of emotions and acceptance of the sentences handed down today are understandable given their loss and the length of time it has taken to bring this matter to a conclusion. They are grieving and rightly so. No specific punishment will bring Tom and Jill Estes back, nor will it replace the decade and counting their family has lost without them in their lives. Their children, family members, and friends lost so much back on June 29, 2008. The closure that comes today with the defendant's admission in open court that he committed these unspeakable acts will hopefully enable Tom and Jill's family to put this legal process behind them so they can continue to heal. I hope that healing can begin today because this case has hung over them for the past 110 months. I hope it helps to know that the murderer of two loving people will be going back to prison and will stay there for the rest of his natural life. No field trips to appeals or any subsequent court proceedings. The next time he exits prison, he will be in a pine box. He is not worthy of another look or thought from anyone outside those prison walls. And Tom and Jill's memory deserves that dignity. I want to commend law enforcement and the prosecutors in my office that dedicated countless hours to investigate and prepare this case. Their efforts were critical in today's final disposition and in bringing this defendant to justice. Please be advised that the Office of the Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney will have no further comment. Thank you. Nothing about why you wouldn't seek that penalty. <laughs>